We're going to talk about shuriken real quick. We're going to be, you know, giving it a go on the boards here. It is said that the Dogoka Dadu carried nine shuriken, okay, or shuriken. And they use this, it's called the Sinban, Sinban shuriken, okay. Um, I could get into the history of this and all that kind of stuff, which is not the point of today's class. Today's class is to have fun and to practice throwing them, okay. So we're not going to get into the history and all that kind of stuff. We'll do that later. When you pull it, you want to use your thumb to get inside that hole, okay. And you're going to pull the thumb and let it slide and into position. So whatever the natural pull, that's how you hold it. You know, ever, you see all these people like, oh, you've got to pinch this, and you're supposed to have so much in your hand, and I've seen all that kind of stuff. Here's the raw reality of any time you do weapons training, in my opinion. Of course, people would like to ring me on this one. But in my opinion, I think that when we're dealing with weapons, if the first and foremost skill is it's got to be practical. Okay, weapons training was done for a reason. It was to create pain. It was to hurt people. It was to kill people. It was to create chaos. It was to create fear. Okay, so if it's not practical, then you're already missing the first point. They weren't throwing shuriken at each other to create a friend. You know, that's the way I, I, I don't believe that. I'm not going to pull my sword out and think you're going to be my best bud. You know, you're going to think I'm trying to kill you. Mm -hmm. Right, so um, when we deal with what's called kobudo, or at this level we are dealing with kobujutsu, which just means weaponry technique. Hopefully you guys can get to the level of kobudo, right? But when you're dealing with kobujutsu, and shuriken jutsu falls in the line of kobujutsu, weapon, weapon technique, okay? Um, the first and foremost is you want it to be practical, not classical, okay? I don't care how many inches, the, I, I can't imagine a ninja of the 15th century being, nope, only this part of my thumb can touch this part of the blade, it's gotta be so many millimeters in, and I don't know, I just think they grab the damn thing and throw it and they call it a day, okay? I'm gonna make the comparison to the NBA, because every guy's known a big sports fan. Um, in the NBA, you see people like, you know, Kobe Bryant and LeBron James and, you know, all these people. Um, look at all of them shoot a jump shot. You can tell the mechanics of Derrick Rose, Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, all three of them. Kevin Durant is an even better example. Put all of them together and all of them shoot the basketball completely different. Yet they are deemed as like one of the, the top four people in the NBA. How is the top four people at the craft of shooting a basketball all shoot the basketball differently? Why does it look different? Because the objective is to be able to put the ball in the hoop. Okay? This is very similar. We're not going to worry about how you guys look when you do it. If you're hitting the board, you're hitting the target, and you're effective, that is the first and, first and foremost skill. Okay? So let's focus on that. Afterwards, we can practice the breathing. We can practice the fundamentals. We can practice some more of the basics of how to put your body into the throw as you come in and, Lean back and take in the air, exhale, throw the shuriken and all this kind of stuff. We can do all those things as we train. But the biggest thing here is to train. Now, as you're doing it, there are a few things, just like grabbing the basketball, there's a few things that are needed to know. Okay? The first one is how do you pull it off the stack? Your thumb just grabs the middle and it pulls. Wherever that is, and as you pull it, make this little motion with your wrist, that's where you're probably going to be grabbing it in combat if you needed to throw something. So that's what you want to practice throwing it from there. Okay? Second thing is, you do not throw it like a frisbee. Your hand should not, right? That's not good. And when you throw Sinban, or what we call Hira Shuriken, Hira Shuriken means flat, okay? Bojo Shuriken is like this, okay? There are many different types of Hira Shuriken, and there are many different types of Bojo Shuriken. But when you throw Hira Shuriken, you snap. So it should look like, make sure you get, the, make sure you get this here, buddy, on mm -hmm. the camera. It should look like, watch the spin. See how I snap and spin it? See that spin? Mm -hmm. Now, the reason I'm snapping and spinning, right? The reason we got all this, okay? Now, there's a fundamental reason. Unlike the bow shuriken where, um, you know, like the little pencils, the objective with those is to penetrate. These have kind of a razor, razor edge all the way around, okay? So although they're going to stick in the board that you guys are throwing, in a real-life application, you really didn't want this to stick that much into a person, okay? I'm going to have poison on here. I'm going to shit on it. I'm going to have all this stuff that's going to get you infected, and I'm going to throw it at you. And what I want is I want it to spin. So as it spins, it'll hit you, get into your bloodstream, and then bounce off and go that way, okay? So make sure when I see you throw, we've got a lot of spin. Okay, there's that. Would the shuriken be a viable weapon today to some degree? Yes. Is it as big of a weapon today as it was back then? No. Can anyone give me one reason why? One. Big one. Immunizations. Yes, very good. Thank you. I'm glad, glad someone said it, actually. Um, medical advances has 
advanced as well. I mean, you know, you got back then you could throw a rusted up shit blade on someone and they're gonna get, you know, what is it, tetanus? Mm -hmm. Tetanus and everything else. They're gonna be pissing and shitting on themselves in four to 72 hours. You know, you can do a night raid, throw a bunch of these things, everyone's sick as dogs, and then you can come in when everyone's sick and really raid the village type of thing. You know what I mean? I mean, it, it held a lot more water. Nowadays, it just doesn't because we all have tetanus shots. Just like when we do food can, just like this, make sure, uh, like a gun has a barrel, right? Make sure that everything is in line. Big toe, knee, hip, shoulder, elbow, and middle finger. All this is making a straight line like we have in Kamai. This is very important. Okay, just like the rifle, when you hold a gun, the damn thing is straight. So you want to make sure that your gun, which is your arm and your body, your body is your weapon at this point, you make sure that your body is properly aligned to, to then deliver a projectile weapon. You want to make sure that your gun is properly aligned to deliver a projectile weapon. So you'll snap in. When you snap, your finger should go like that. And your finger should point what you want to throw it. Throw, and like I said, start throwing light. You can add speed, you can add power. I'm going to start slow, so you guys can see me go slow and then kind of build up speed. But when you toss it, make sure you spin it into the target. See, I kind of throw it in there. And then as you get kind of a better a better feel for where, you're, where this is, you know, you can put your, I'm leaning my body forward into the target and I'm throwing it in there. Put it down in there. Throwing it up in there. You see, so you can get it at that point, notice I'm snapping my hand and I'm moving forward, and that's kind of the idea of how you guys want to do that. Do you see what I did? Mm -hmm. Go to this book.